Hello, and welcome back to my channel. All links are below. My Furniture Repurpose DIY Project. If you're new here, my name is Carmelita. If you're returning, welcome back. As usual, please grab a cocktail or beverage of choice and enjoy. Repurposing furniture involves taking existing furniture and giving it a new function or updating its look to fit different aesthetics or needs. This practice is important for several reasons. Sustainability. It reduces waste by extending the life of furniture, decreasing the need to produce new pieces, and thus saving resources and reducing environmental impact. I purchased Aero Garden indoor garden wall shelves and they are made of bamboo. I used to do a lot of indoor gardening, uh, growing vegetables inside my home, and that's why I had these uh, shelves. I've had them for about five years now. I paid $72 each. I love the casual ladder bookcase style, as it is simple and attractive bookshelf uh, that adds a delightful point of interest to a room while displaying books and other decorative items. So when I stopped growing the plants, I decided to keep the shelves. For my DIY project, I decided to use chalk paint uh, because it is favored for painting wood furniture due to its unique properties. Here's how it works best. Adhesion. Chalk paint adheres well to most surfaces without the need for sanding or priming, making it easy to apply directly to wood furniture. Coverage. It typically covers well, often requiring fewer coats than regular paint. Finish. It dries to a matte chalky finish that can be left as is or finished with wax or a sealant for a more polished look or increased durability. Application. Brushes or rollers work for application, and brush marks often add to the rustic hand-painted charm. For best results, ensure the furniture is clean and make any necessary repairs. After painting, sealing with wax or a clear coat will protect the finish. Repurposing furniture is a blend of art, sustainability, and practicality that contributes positively to both individual and environmental well-being. Before deciding to DIY and repurpose, I did have several other shelves that I looked at, and I will show you those. Again, my original shelving here, these are made of bamboo. But first, another reason to repurpose is for personalization. It allows for creativity and personal expression, as individuals can create one-of-a-kind pieces that reflect their personal style. Also, economic benefit. It can provide economic opportunities through the creation of small businesses focused on refurbishing and upcycling. Here's the final result. I only had to use one coat of paint and they came out beautifully. Okay, the first shelf that I thought about purchasing is a casual home shelf, five shelf ladder bookcase in white. I know, I know you guys are probably thinking, this looks exactly like what you already have. The only difference is that there are more shelves and this is solid pine. This shelf is six feet in height, enclosed ideal storage space for tall displays, perfect for books, collectibles, and more. The solid wood construction and it's for increased durability and longevity. Again, it's made out of pine. The dimensions are 72 inches high, 24.75 inches wide, and 16 inches deep. It weighs 23 pounds. Other than the amount of shelves, the huge difference is that my original piece is again made of bamboo and this piece is made of pine. Both are plants but have distinct characteristics and uses. Pine is a type of coniferous tree belonging to the genus Pinus. It has a long lifespan, often several hundred years. Pine trees produce wood that is commonly used in furniture, construction, and paper manufacturing. Pine wood is known for its strength, durability, and resistance to shrinking and swelling. Bamboo, on the other hand, is a type of grass. 
It grows extremely fast with some species capable of growing 35 inches per day. Bamboo is used in a variety of applications including construction, textiles, and culinary young shoots. While pine is a traditional wood source with a typical tree structure, bamboo is a grass that has wood-like qualities and offers sustainability due to its rapid growth rate. Both are valuable natural resources, but are used differently based on their distinct properties. The second option that I looked at is this um, four-tier bookshelf with two drawers um, as a set. It's about $375. It's 74.8 inches high. Um, it's for display, a freestanding multi-purpose storage rack, um, and it's beautiful, white and gold. Sturdy, stable, and reliable, and it's made of particle board, so it's not hard wood. Um, the white um, Adderge bookshelf is anti-scratch, stain resistant and water resistant. Four black leg pads are uh, designed to help this white and gold multiple bookcase stand stably on uneven floor and protect floor from scratching. I will say that my original um, shelf is very unstable. You can see it in the video. I had a hard time painting it because I had to make sure to keep an empty space open for my hand to hold on to it because it shakes so much. It's very, very unstable. So that is uh, probably the one thing that bothers me the most about it. As long as it's sitting in one space, my original shelf is fine. But again, as you can see in the video, it shakes when it's moved. Um, I don't have um, a problem, again, with things falling off of it. Um, it's very stable in that regard. Uh, if I um, uh, put a stabilizer against the wall, you'd probably be able to see it, so I don't want to do that. Um, but yes, it is uh, very wobbly. Next, I looked at this five-tier open bookshelf set of two. Uh, it is wood particle board um, with a metal frame. Again, it's not real wood, it's particle board. Um, for the set, it's around $249. It's freestanding display rack, tall shelving unit for office, bedroom, uh, living room. And again, these are, I do really like them even though they're black. I do like these. I was originally looking for something white, but I um, I do like these shelves. This five tier wood open shelf provides ample space for displaying or storage of daily essentials, books, plants, decorations, photo frames, DVDs, toys, um, or any other kinds of stuff that you want to have organized um, in the shelving unit. Again, I consider my decor style mid-century modern. A mid-century modern style is known for its sleek, clean lines and a mix of organic and geometric forms. Both wood and metal can complement these aesthetics, uh, but they do so in different ways. Wood is often associated with mid-century modern furniture because of its warmth and natural grain, which adds an organic element to the design. Teak, walnut, oak, and rosewood are commonly used in mid-century modern pieces and work well to enhance the style's connection to nature and craftsmanship. Metal, on the other hand, brings in the industrial and sleek aspect of mid-century modern design. Chrome, brushed steel, and brass are metals that are commonly used during the mid-century period, often seen in furniture legs, frames, and hardware. These materials add a touch of shine and a more modern, sometimes futuristic feel to the pieces. And for my final um, option is this white and gold arched bookshelf, five tier bookcase, gold shelves for living room, freestanding tall display shelf, decorative shelf for a bedroom also. And they range around $129 each. The minimalistic arch design, elegant white shelves, and gold metal frame create a modern and luxurious bookshelf that seamlessly blends into any room. 
it can easily match most modern furniture and decorations, making it perfect for the bedroom, living room, home office, and more. I do like this shelf. Um, the arched uh, design, you can see it has a little bit more detail on it, kind of making it look like a sunburst, and I don't particularly like that style. Um, so that is one issue. The other issue I have with this is that it's metal and I'm just not certain that I want to add more metal as opposed to wood in the space. Ultimately, the choice between wood and metal in mid-century modern design depends on the specific context and the desired balance between warmth and industrial chic. Often, a combination of both materials is used to achieve a harmonious blend of both comfort and that mid-century modern feel. My final decision also played a role in the <clears throat> excuse me, particle board versus the bamboo. Particle board is an economical manufactured wood product that's less durable and eco-friendly than bamboo, which is a natural, stronger, and more sustainable option. So bamboo it is. For now, even though the others are beautiful, I think I'm going to stick with my bamboo piece. And now that I've painted it the white, I think it looks awesome in the space. The final touch. Now, I think I need to fill my uh, reed diffusers up before I finish out this morning's tasks. You can find links below in the description box for everything. Reed diffusers, they're made of natural rattan. Rattan is the most widely used material for reed diffuser six because it is known to hold down or absorb the fragrance of any essential oil very well. One of my favorite home scents is the Cocodor reed diffuser um, dispenser and uh, oil in the fragrance Refreshing Air. Refreshing air is a citrusy note of mandarin with a soft, bright, and cheerful vibrance that is added, accompanied by a clean note of cotton, leaving a pleasantly refreshing mood. The combination of the mandarin and cotton. Mandarin and cotton fragrances would offer a unique blend of invigorating and clean scents. The bright, energizing aroma of mandarin would lift the spirits, while the comforting scent of cotton will likely ground the fragrance, resulting in a balanced and pleasing aroma that feels both lively and soothing. The structure of rattan includes channels that run the length of the reed, which allows the essential oils to travel up the reed stick and disperse into the air. This makes it an effective material for diffusing scents throughout a room. Additionally, rattan is a natural and porous material which aids in the absorption and volatilization of the oils, ensuring a consistent fragrance distribution. It's also sturdy and attractive, which adds to the aesthetic appeal of the diffuser setup. If you use reed diffusers in your home, please let me know in the comments down below and let me know what your favorite scent is. To optimize fragrance, it's best to flip your reed diffuser sticks once every week. Aren't these beautiful? I just love the whimsy, the floral. They're just gorgeous. Okay, let's put them back in their spot. <laughs> Whoops. There you go. Have a lot of plans for this little area i know it's a little crowded right now but there's soon going to be some huge changes i think you all will enjoy okay let's put the new one up on our newly painted and dried shelving units okay i think that's about it thank you so much for tuning into my channel thank you for watching today's video your support means the world to me if you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more exciting content in the future. I appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, bye-bye.